What up all my fight fans? So, Dylan Dennis finally has done a few interviews. He spoke about a lot regarding the lawsuit, regarding Logan Paul. So I want to ask you guys this. Is Dylan Dennis the one selling this fight? I personally believe so. With all these interviews, with all his trash talk, with all that's with everything that's taking place regarding this Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis fight, I feel like Dylan Dennis, even though I am not the biggest fan of him, even though I do feel like he is the troll of the MMA or even boxing world, I feel like he's the one that sold this pay-per-view the most. Because there really isn't much coming from Tommy Fury. There really isn't much from coming from KSI. And surprisingly, there really isn't much coming from <clears throat> Logan Paul. Now, I know they can't go into too many details because there is a lawsuit going on. But there still can be some kind of trash talk. There still can be some kind of statement be made by Logan Paul. By saying, hey, this is what's going to happen in the ring this and such and such. I'm actually expecting some kind of countdown videos. Or I'm expecting something that builds up more. But there really hasn't been. Aside, aside from Dylan Dennis, you know, going on with uh, his interviews and trash talking, which is making the fighting a little bit more exciting, which makes us a little bit more interested in seeing the fight. So, yes, I am actually very interested in seeing this fight now, just due to the fact that the trash talk, due to the fact what the drama that's actually taking place with, respectfully, it is all due to Dylan Dennis. He is the troll of the MMA world. And rightfully so, look, look at what he's doing. You know, Logan Paul hasn't really done much to really build this fight, to build any kind of interest. I'm sure he's really training. I'm sure he's really working hard because he does want to get his hands on him for his fiance. But you got to do something. You got to do something to make us interested. Because literally, all we were really hearing is from Dylan Dennis. We're not even hearing much from Jake Paul, which I don't understand, which of course I can understand because he's not necessarily involved in anything. So guys, let me know in the comments, who do you think is selling this fight? Do you think it's Dylan Dennis, or do you think maybe Logan Paul has something up his sleeve where he's going to come out towards the, um, the fight, towards where, towards fight week, where we're going to hear a lot more from Logan Paul, especially during the interviews, especially during the weigh-ins, are we going to hear maybe another press conference? I am very much looking forward to this. I know you guys are as well. So guys, like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.